Good morning. I am shattered. I got in from work last night at 10 and let all my things out for the gym and it might get a bit dark, sorry. Let all my things out for the gym, washed up, packed the lunch boxes for the morning, put my water bottle by the front door. I was all organised. Haven't gone to the gym. I have gone two days already. It's Thursday, so I'm gonna go tomorrow and then do a home workout on the weekend. But I got in last night, got into bed at about quarter past ten, started reading my book, then Naya kept coming in. We're doing this like sleep training thing with her this week. Um because she keeps creeping in our room and she keeps falling asleep in our room. She's done really well, but she'll come in like once or twice maybe. But last night she just kept coming in. I don't know if she'd had a nightmare because she looked really scared. So I just sort of cuddled her and then I stuck with it and I kept putting her back. I think I put her back about six times and then she finally fell asleep. It took about an hour. And then Odin started waking up. So I didn't really get to read my book. And I didn't fall asleep till midnight, I think. And then he woke again at four. And then he woke again at six. And then he's gone back to sleep now. And I thought, I'm done. I'm just going to get up. We had about five, six hours sleep, but that's the usual. But I've got a nice big coffee and I'm going to watch half an hour of EastEnders and maybe read my book before they wake up because this time is usually my time at the gym and I can't get back to sleep because once I'm awake, I'm awake. Now I can hear Odin moving, I think. That's why I usually just get up and go to the gym because he's going to wake up anyway. But I'm just so tired. But anyway, I'm going to record um, like a day in the life of what we get up to today when I'm more awake. <laughs> that lasted five minutes. I had three sips of my coffee. Can I get my jacket, Mum? Yeah. I put it on. Oh, that's kind. You're putting your jacket on there to keep him warm. <laughs> oh, I don't think he wants it. You both awake now? What? Who slept in the bed all night? Me! Woohoo! Daddy! <laughs> is he there? I can see him! There he is! Wave! <laughs> Say bye, Dad. Blow kiss. And uh, Daddy gone to work. <laughs> Daddy gone to work. I don't know. I look like Who wants breakfast? Let me choose breakfast. What are you going to have? Oh, I'm going to go first. Don't I'm going to wait. You don't like them, Odie. I'm <laughs> You can have wheat a bit. Hey, Mum. You're tired, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> what about a bowl? Are you going to get a bowl? Please. You have wheat a bit and honey? Yeah. I have these ones in the middle. You have them ones after. Yeah? In the middle. So wheat a bit and honey, right? Get a bowl. These the ones in the middle. You have them ones after. You're having a pink bowl, are you? <laughs> you want the white bowl? Oh. You want pink? <laughs> Odie wants white. I want pink. And a spoon. You're going to get a spoon. A cuddle. A cuddle. Here's your orange juice. Yummy, yummy. You're going to sit in a bit more. You're going to sit up properly. Mummy, tuck you in. Good girl. And what have you got? You got these bits too? <gasps> yummy. So while these two munchkins have their brekkie, I'm going to pack away the dishes from last night. And then put the slow cooker on, get Nair's lunchbox. Open up the blinds in the kitchen. Look how dark it is still. <gasps> it's like a winter's day. <laughs> and then <coughs> what have we got to get ready for? <coughs> last day of <coughs> school. It's Thursday, so it's your last day of the week, isn't it? You do <coughs> Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. And then next week, next year, when Odin starts, you'll be doing a Friday morning, won't you? And you're going to go over the lake. Odie's going to go into Caterpillars in after Easter and you're going to stay in Busy Bees, aren't you? Do you want some juice? 
Let me get you some. is lunchbox today. She's got a big yogurt. I did order smaller ones from Asda, but they sent these. There's none left. It's alright, I've got apple juice. Um, two cocktail sausages. I do her a small lunch because she takes ages to eat. A sandwich, crispies, and grapes and melon. So that's her little box. Just got it out of the fridge, put it in her lunch bag, and put it by the door, ready to go. I sometimes make it in the morning, but I don't have to rush now. Um, I'm going to pop a curry in the slow cooker. Curry. Curry is what we're having for dinner tonight. You don't like curry, though, do you? So I expect you'll have chicken nuggets. <laughs> Oh, there was some left, was there? So I'm going to pop the curry in here. I did do a video previously on how I do it, so I'm not going to video it. But um, then I just don't have to cook tonight because I have work. So it just makes it easier. What a lovely wet day. There's hair clip. Right, I'm going to give the bedrooms a quick open the curtains, make the beds. Try and get ready myself, even no one screams at me i usually have about 10 minutes <laughs> although you don't watch them try to be unhappy um and renee's on her ipad that's the only way they don't kill each other <laughs> how cute is this new gym set i got from Coco London, I think. So cute, I literally love it. Can't really see it very well. I was meant to wear this to the gym this morning. I had it all let out, but didn't make the gym because I'm tired. I'm feeling a bit refreshed after my coffee. Um, um, skincare done, my skin is awful at the minute because wearing face masks for work, they just kill your skin. Right, I'm literally sweating, I'm so hot. Let's quickly, Plait my hair again because I think if I take it out, I went, I washed it yesterday and then plaited it. Oh, look at those curls! Well, waves. That'd be good, like if I was wearing my hair down, but it is um, windy and wet out there, so I don't think I will bother. I think I might just plait it again. I don't actually. Sounds grim. I don't actually brush my hair unless I've washed it because. Where my hair is very thick and naturally um, wavy, if I brush it, I just look like Tracy Beaker and it goes more frizzy and it's even frizzy now, but it's, oh, it's so annoying. I've tried Cam2 products. I think I've tried every product and nothing works. So yeah gonna finish getting ready now and then run and sort the gremlins out and get to school <laughs> ready for the day that took me five minutes I literally just popped a little bit of concealer on my skin because I feel a bit self-conscious. Buffed the brows up and popped some mascara on and some lip balm, popped my jumper on. Um, and this is like how my go-to look on a school one day. Pretty much every day. I think I wear makeup, like full makeup and look nice, probably once a week. I best go because I can hear Odin smashing one of my pumpkins. And I can hear that. I think they're running on the sofa. Sounds like they're throwing the pillows. So it's eight o'clock now. I managed to get all of that done in 15 minutes. I'm pretty proud of myself. So now let's go get the crazy kids. But yeah, it's my hand. Gotta go. What are you two doing? <laughs> Gentle. <laughs> Life with two. Right, who's going to get ready for school? Anyone? Anyone? Odie Bum?
Renee is at school. I can breathe a sigh of relief. It's sometimes it's just nice dropping one off and you only have one to contend with until 3 p.m. I'm gonna clean just these bits up just because I were going out and I didn't get toys out later, but I just like to leave the house tidy if I can. Doesn't always happen. Um, and then I'm going to make myself some breakfast because I am starving. I have breakfast a little bit later now because I find it stops me snacking. And um, it's just easier with the school run. So I'm going to do that while he has a quick nap. <clears throat> so this is my brekkie. I've got a bagel and a half thin <laughs> with the lotus spread on. Oh, to die for. Strawberries on the top another coffee and I've got some is it phage or feia I don't know how you say it feia god knows greek yogurt with some peanut butter in I have quite a big breakfast because I only like have a salad or picky bits for lunch because I'm just not really a lunch fan and I love breakfast so that is my breakfast this morning I usually have wheat a bit overnight wheat a bit but forgot to make it last night um I'm gonna do the washing up later once like we've had lunch and that later because it just saves doing it again. I'm gonna put a wash load on, the slow cooker is on, Odin is having a quick nap, and then I'm gonna eat that and then we're gonna go to baby group. Um, I got these delivered yesterday for my Tassimo machine. Shane got me a Tassimo machine for my birthday and I love it. Gingerbread latte, cappuccino, I've opened them yesterday, they're really nice. Got these for the half term for Halloween, a bit more fattening, but you know, got have a treat. These are like the sort of ones I'd go for every day. And I thought I'd try the iced latte one because I do love an iced latte. So we'll have a little look. These were meant to be like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 quid, but I had a 10 pound off voucher. So, you know, worth a go. They are quite expensive, the pods, not gonna lie. Um, but I usually have like one a day and then I will have like my normal coffee. But if you think about it, if you were buying a coffee from like Starbucks or Costa is like three pounds, so. Hey ho. Right, I'm going to go eat this and watch the rest of EastEnders that I didn't get to watch this morning and enjoy my hot coffee and then go baby group. Where are we going? We're going baby group. <laughs> Come on then. Well, that was an epic fail, wasn't it? Baby group wasn't on. It's on every other week and I thought, oh, maybe I've got the date wrong. But we definitely didn't come last week. I'd done it on the like the calendar from when we it started and I just rang the church person on the um sign and she was like, Oh no, it's not on this week. One person's ill and one person's on holiday, like the leaders. Which is annoying because they kind of like one of the groups I go to send like a text message if it's not on. Because they have all like your details and that. But hey ho, it's one of them things. Can't be helped. But now I feel really guilty because we're not doing anything today and I would have took him on the Thursday baby groups and on we'll go swimming because like on a Tuesday and Wednesday we'll do I have to do a lot of cleaning to do at home and like general bits around the house and like he just plays and we chill and watch tv and go for a walk but like this is the day like me and Odin usually do something nice together like swimming or park or baby group but we can't do park because it's raining can't be swimming because I haven't bought our stuff and it'll just then be too late near to lunchtime and nap time and it's like we've just drove 15 minutes from home I'm not driving 15 minutes again and then 15 minutes again and then 15 minutes again back home so we're gonna pop two waitros and get the little bits I needed to get after baby group then I'm gonna take him for a little look around the charity shops because he likes looking at all the cars and tractors maybe buy you a little car <laughs> yeah and then we're gonna go home and do some painting aren't we <laughs> and play-doh <laughs> yeah you're just eating your little snack. I'm glad I bought a snack and I'm glad you are the age where you're not going to kick off at me if something's closed. He just goes, oh dear. And then just went for a little walk. You had a little splash in the puddles, didn't you? <coughs> and a little walk. You're so easily pleased. <coughs> Come on then, say bye bye. Say bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <gasps> Big ones. <laughs> <laughs> look at that one, Odie. Odie, look. What's that? What's that? <laughs> You're stuck. Come on. Um. We've been to Waitrose. Got some Christmassy bits. Yeah. <gasps>
Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Come on. Where are we going now? We're going to go savers. And then factory shop. Come on. Ready, steady, run. Go. <laughs> Look, they've got coca melon. And that one. <gasps> I see pumpkins. Look. In the window. <laughs> you jumped in a big puddle, didn't you? You're soaking. What have you got? It's your new toy that you picked. Odin found this on a shelf. We took it to the till and it was reduced to a pound. <gasps> oh, bless you. And you're so happy with it, aren't you? He was such a good boy. We jumped in puddles. You're soaking wet when you change all these. We had a little walk. That's your tractor. And it made up for the missed baby group. We went and seen some pumpkins and some Halloween decorations and some Christmas things. We only live like in a small town, but we just went to two, lit three little shops. Um, but he was so good and he actually walked around in the pram. He did run away a few times, but I kept holding his hand and he was really good. Um, I remember that this age was really hard with Renea because I was pregnant at the time. So it's quite nice doing things without having to chase him, like when I was pregnant pregnant with Renea so we grabbed some wrapping paper I'm just grabbing I know it is only October but I'm just grabbing bits when I see them and I really liked the detail of this paper it was only a pound that was in savers Teddy sir stinky Ted um I just got them for tonight because we are having a curry I picked up these because I usually give my nan some money because she doesn't ever know what she wants and like some sweets and that and then I usually give my brothers money so I just picked up them for Christmas deodorant because we all love a bit of dove she picked up some of that i just got the cheap one because apparently it's exactly the same oh no i've got orange flavor they're probably not going to have that great um it's the same this is the cheap one as the norofen and it's so expensive when you have two um but they're not it it's just for i always have it in the cupboards uh yorkshire tea bags because i ran out of tea bags and obviously they are the best i got four of these they were down to 75p these i hope they're in day i didn't even check the day oh yeah till november perfect these are meant to be like one pound to 150 everywhere else and waitrose had them in for 75p so i picked up the last four on the shelf um so i'll put them in the fridge picked up some sour cream dip because we are having a pizza and crisps night on saturday because it's my weekend off and i just want to chill i picked up these because we're going to make some brownie scary face things picked up some christmasy zoflora they were only one pound 30 i think i'll smell them later some rich tea fingers because they are the best biscuits in the whole wide world and we don't care what anyone says oh we went into a charity shop and we love a charity shop seen this mango i love mango um clothing one pound fifty it should have been i don't know how much it should have been but i imagine it should have been like a tenner probably maybe more mango is a bit like zara i find and the kids stuff is lush i got this in four to five for naya just give it a wash but it's brand new perfect i love these sort of little tops that lush with like little leggings and jeans so that was in the sale i picked up some of these for my friend because it's her birth it was her birthday when it was mine and we're going to the pub tomorrow for lunch and i've actually got her a present but i ate her chocolate <laughs> so i'm a bad friend i picked up these for my nan for christmas they were only one pound 15 i think in the sale everyone loves a shortbread and i just thought they were quite cute I picked up these for Odie. Sorry, I keep saying I picked up. It's quite obvious I picked up. These were down to 179 in Waitrose. The Hot Wheels cars are quite expensive and he loves cars. They're going to either go in his stocking or just in his Santa sack. I picked up... Oh my God, I need to stop saying I picked up. I got these. <laughs> they were one pound. I just thought, just, I don't know. I just buy random bits and then when it comes to it, I just put it all together and hope for the best bath salts one of my sisters will like them and these were down to two pounds they the bottle just looks really nice they're meant to be like a fiver and the body butters and the uh, scrubs were like two pound uh watermelon and then i got a coconut and mango one 
I think that was all the bits we bought, wasn't it, Odie? So that was just our little shopping bits. Odin had a brioche bun, some like crisp things and an Ella's kitchen fruit pouch. So he's kind of had his lunch as we've gone around. So I'm just going to get him a little cereal bar and an orange and some grapes for her, like something to eat and a drink. And then I'm going to go do the bunnies, put the bins out because it's bin day tomorrow. Um, I have got some cleaning bits upstairs, but I really can't be asked to do them today, if I'm being honest. I'm just not feeling it. So I've got to clean the bathroom and pack away some washing, but I might do that tomorrow. I don't know. Um, and I've got to do some MVQ work. So yeah. Ah, oh, you putting your cars away? Good boy. Should we let them out? <gasps> there's Sonic and there's Peanut. Say hiya. Oh, that's so gentle, Odin. Good boy. There's Sonic. Oh, look at his ears. You stroke his furry ears. <laughs> they hungry. Should we go get them some food? And then we've got to clean out their wee-wees. Yeah, we're going to keep... Odin is watching track the Ted. He had the biggest poo bomb, so just changed him. I've actually put him in some pajamas because we're gonna do some painting and then we're literally going on the school run. I can't be off to get more nice clothes out for him just to destroy and they're just coca melon pajamas that Renee got paint on when she was a baby. So we're gonna do some he's just watching track the Ted while I am gonna have a little go at moving the kitchen round. Because like the coffee machine, the mic, I was just feeling a bit like this area, I'm gonna try and make like a tea coffee area and then put the microwave in that over there, but I don't know how it's gonna look. So I'm gonna try it and if it looks crap, I'll move it back. Um, and then I'm gonna make myself some lunch, sit with Odie, then come do some painting, then he can hopefully nap and I can finish my MVQ work. The day just goes so quick when she's at school. Like today's actually about our slow day, like Thursdays, we don't really do a lot apart from like baby group, chill, bit of housework. Um, but like Tuesdays and Wednesdays are like food shopping, deep cleaning, bed changes. I don't really sit down. So today I feel a bit lazy when I'm not doing a lot, but it's just nice pottering about sometimes with him. Um, so yeah, you can watch me try and move the kitchen around. <laughs> I don't know why I get ideas like this in my head. I, I am so impressed with this. <laughs> Some people might not like the layout, but I really like it. I changed over. I need to wash these out. I'm just going to get rid of them. I never liked these anyway. Don't know why I got them. So, I, And we don't have... We keep our coffee. Um, oh, my God, I need to clean this up. Our coffee, we just buy like this one. And obviously now we've got the coffee machine. So I can just keep that in the cupboard or keep it here. Um, but I just really like it. I love it. It's so cute. This is like going to be my new little coffee station. I might get like a little coffee sign to go here. And I want to get a proper pod thing. Mm -hmm. And then I've, um, oh, the lighting. Good God. I've put the microwave here. These little bits here, because I was there cook with these anyway. Toaster. And obviously that's not normally on the side. And then she's got the Alexa and the fruit bowl. I'm making lunch, ignore that. But I'm really happy with that. I just need to clean up the rest of the crap. <laughs> Love it.
I've just put Odin up for his nap. He should, by his, because of his age, he should only be having like one nap a day, but like a long nap, like two, like some kids have two to three hour naps. That's what Renee used to do. But he's more of like, sorry about my foot. <laughs> he's more of a, um, like a, a short napper. Like he can have half an hour to an hour and that's it. So obviously if I wait around all day and let him have a late nap in the afternoon, well, like lunchtime, he'll like nap half an hour to an hour and then he's still grumpy. So like the way I'd done it this morning, let him have 45 minutes and then now he can have an hour before we go get Naya and then I know he's getting his full nap because I tried it the other way around and he just gets so grumpy. Very rare, he'll nap an hour and a half. That's the longest he's ever napped, ever. So I'm gonna, I've put my candle on, I'm gonna watch, well, I'm just gonna put something on in the background because I can't do things without something on in the background. Like I'm just the same with everything, cooking, cleaning, even doing work. I've got a little treat because I fancy it. And I'm gonna do my MVQ work. I've got one more assignment to do and then that'll be marked off. And then I'm about 75 to 80% through, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna sit and do that and chill for the last hour. I feel really lazy, like, when I know everyone else is out at work in the day, like Shane and just normal humans, and I'm at home, and if I sit down, I feel really guilty. Excuse my skin, I picked it. Because um, like I should be doing something. But obviously, I wake up at quarter to six usually. I go to the gym for an hour, come home, obviously do the housework, get in air to school or whatever we're doing that day, cleaning at home, entertaining either one or two kids all day. Then I obviously like to do dinner, um, more cleaning, jobs around the house, bit of my MVQ, working out, like just, I'm trying to do everything else. And then I go out to work at six until 10 and then obviously four till 10 on the weekends. And then that, I don't have an evening. Like I only get Mondays off and every other Friday and then every other weekend. That sounds like a lot, but like if you work out the evenings, like a lot of people sit and chill in the evenings. Like they've been at work all day, the kids have been in nursery and then they get their evening. Like I've got the kids all day and then I'm at work all evening. So there's not a lot of time where I'm on my own. So like I used to feel really guilty about this when I had Renea. So I used to spend her whole nap time doing the cleaning and then I'd spend the whole time she was awake, like playing with, oh, playing with her and stuff. But I like, it looks like it's gonna piss down. It's really gray. I've like learned to, like, I still feel guilty about it sometimes, but I'm now, like, taking the time that Odin naps to, like, do my MVQ and sit and relax or read a book, sit on my phone if I want to sit on my phone, or, like, watch something on telly, catch up with a series, like, paint my nails, like, just do something for me that I would should be doing in the evening when I would be technically off work if I worked normal hours. Um, but it's really hard not to feel guilty when you sat down in the day when you should be doing something but yeah I don't know if anyone else feels that way it's really hard being part-time that like everyone I feel like everyone thinks I'm lazy but it's the only way to work around the kids because if I was to send Odin into full-time nursery and put Renee into full-time nursery obviously she gets 30 hours funded but she'd need more and I was going to go to work like my old hours I used to full-time I don't even think I'd make what I'm making part-time now with them in nursery and preschool I just just don't see the point and then shoving them in preschool and not spending no time with them when they're so little to go and earn the money that I can earn now like all I miss now is obviously bath time they go to bed and then like my own chill time so it just works better for us as a family just me slaving away every evening <laughs> but yeah that's my um little rant and I'm gonna go do some MVQ work now because I now have 55 minutes to do this What you got? Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Ice cream. <laughs> I got a yummy taste. Yummy. Cool. Yeah. What'd you do? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> I don't know. You say that every So much energy after school. <laughs> <laughs> These two are just playing and being wild <laughs> animals. <laughs> Um, I'm going to finish the last two questions on my MVQ, then spend some time with them before we serve up dinner, have our cookies and soda care, and go to work. It's wild at this time. Yeah. Renea is really grumpy, so I'm going to leave the vlog here, because after school is her third day in a row, and she's knackered, and she's just really grumpy, and I have an hour 
and her work. So I'm just spending a bit of time with her serving up dinner. I'll slow cook a curry. <laughs> Super yum. She's already told me she's not eating it. She's really fussy. So I'm going to make her something separate. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this random day in the life. Um, it was a bit of a slow, boring day. I would have had more to show you if we went to baby group and if I had a bit more to do, but i done most of the stuff at the beginning of the week, so I should have probably done it on that day. But yeah, see you soon. You're going to tell us what song you learnt at school? Go on then. I had a little Ken. He's made tiny Ken. I put him in the bathtub, he said he could swim, he drink up all the water, he eat out all his soap, and when he went to bed, had a bubble in his